Alright, this is how to use a 64 gigabyte SD card in SJ Cam SJ4000 Wi Fi. Alright, as you can see, my camera detects the card, it says I got 9 hours 45 minutes and 52 seconds. So if I try to record, I'll count, I'll wait like 10 seconds at least, or whatever. But look, it goes back to it. And the same thing with the pictures. It says I could take 100,994 pictures. I'm going to take a picture. And same says the same thing again. Take another one. And then you get an error. Memory card error. So now, if you go to go look at the pictures, there are no images. Okay. So this is a 64 gigabyte PNY. 64 gigabyte PMI micro SD card class 10 turbo, which is the 90 read and 90 write, maybe uh, the fastest SD cards they make for class 10. Okay, so to get this to work, you need a program on the computer because this is uh, yeah, fat or something like that. I'll let you know in two seconds. The program is called Smart Disk Fat. 32. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put this chip into my computer. Ah, uh, it's dark, but whatever. Alright, there it goes. It pops up on my screen there. Sorry about the focus. It just had to work with me. Let's see, maybe I should take the light off. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so here. Show you the format. Fat, see, ex fat. So ex fat. For some reason, the camera doesn't work with it at 64 gigs. So what you need to do is download this little program. Just Google it, and you'll find it. It's called Smart Disk Fat 32.exe. So what we'll do is we'll run that program. Yes, that you want to run it, and this is it. This is the program. So what you want to do is find your SD card, which I already did right here. It's the only one I have. And you click just Format Drive. You are about to format the selected drive. All data, blah, 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 will be deleted. Yes. And just let that process. It should go pretty quick, depending on your SD card that you've chosen. Turn my light back on. All right. The drive has been successfully formatted. Just click exit. Sorry about the focus. Okay, let's so put this back here. Get my SD card out of my computer. All right, here's the SD card again. 64, see? So I'll put it back and to my SG cam. Okay, I got the power back on. Man, this really sucks with the focus. Okay, now it's detecting. I have 9 hours, 46, 46 minutes to record. Click record. Starts recording. So, I'll just let it do like 10 seconds, just to show you that it's recording. Okay. And now you see that it went down. So, now we'll do a picture. See, it says I have... Um, 100,984 pictures. Take a picture, and it's counting down, like it should be. So, and then if you go to memory, these are the, my, the video, and those are the pictures I took. So now, if you ever want to delete them, come on, load up. If you ever want to delete the pictures, just go to delete, and you can delete the current one, or you can delete all of them, or just delete all of them. If you ever you if you ever go to format it again, if you format it, the card will go back to ex fat, and it won't work. So for example, if you format it, you click yes, 
It's formatting the card. Now the card is back at EX fair and won't work like the begin with. I'll record some imaging. Ten seconds at least, I would say. Don't matter. And it's the same thing again. And then if I go to take a picture again, same problem. Not recording, so it's going to give me the memory card error. So to fix that, I would have to reformat it on my computer. The only way I figured out how to get a 64 gigabyte to work. So if you want a 64 gigabyte or a 128 to work on the SJ Cam 4000, you have to download that program, uh, format the card to FAT32, and the camera will work with a 64 or 128 gigabyte SD card as long as you format it in FAT32 with that program I seen, or maybe any other program to get uh, format the card to FAT32. Just remember, never, never, never use the format in the phone, I mean in the camera, or else it'll never work. You have to reuse the computer to format it again. So if you find yourself out and about and you format the card in the camera, you're kind of screwed until you get to a computer and format back to FAT32.